Down boy. The scissors. <laughs> I was sitting here thinking this show fucking needs something man because we're doing all this shit but it's not popping off man this is like stale beans man this is like fucking Thanksgiving the day after bro you know what I mean all the balloons have been deflated and sent home so I thought I could block, pop it off you know what I mean it's about to what get what the fuck are we doing it's about to get lit what is happening it's about to get lit bro Okay. He sent peanuts. Yeah, let's take a call. No, nah, I'd rather not take a call. It should be right there. Yeah, it's right here. And it, it, it's already on the under Why'd you get mad at me? I wasn't mad. I like that. Why'd Rocco just get mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I'm not oh mad my at you. God. I'm like trying my hardest to do something and is this, yelled at me. I'm is this the trick? You just fucking yelled at me. No. Oh, fuck. You yelled at me. I'm yelled oh. at myself. It's on tape. You oh, yelled at me. It, it is on tape. Asshole. Oh, my no. God. I don't think. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> this is the best Halloween guy. Dude, Garrett, get a close up on that, Meg. I can't. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We can't get a close up on that. Okay. I just feel like this mask unleashes something creative inside of me. I like it. And, yeah. I thought, and I thought everybody was to support it. Well, I was in here enjoying the ride, dog, the bounty hunter. Thank you. Support it. I was... Go ahead. Call her. Hello. Bandito. Hey. Hey. How's it going, guys? Happy, happy, almost Halloween. Thanks, dude. Hello. Hey, first time caller, long time listener. I just wanted to say thanks for all the great content. Oh, yeah. Hey, it is it is our pleasure, Bandito. No problem. You know, I want to say one thing real quickly. Uh, I listen to you guys' podcasts all the time when I work, and people started asking me, what are you laughing at? And they started watching the podcast and stuff all the same. So getting some new fans out here for you guys. Thanks, dude. Nice. Do you yeah. do you listen on uh, YouTube or do you go to iTunes? Where do you listen? You know what? Before I got a new phone, I actually used to uh, listen with like a little glitch through the Chrome browser. So oh. I used to listen to the actual Mega Sixty Four website. Oh, interesting. All right. But I wanted to ask you guys: Has there ever been a special uh, event or any kind of cool, spooky, funny thing happen at Halloween time or Halloween based? With you guys spooky Halloween this whole stuff. show has been like a haunted bizarre fever dream <laughs> I don't I don't even know where I'm at I think I'm trying to think you know <laughs> I don't know if I ever told a story before I'll tell it again um, when I was a kid I went to my friend's neighborhood and we we were a little older we we're probably like 12 we probably shouldn't have been to a train stuff, but we were. And we went around, and this girl answered the door, who was probably, I don't know, like 18. But we were 12, and she was so fucking hot that we just kept coming back to her house just to see her again. And we kept trying to get new costumes so we could uh, get more and more candy. And by the end, she just gave us a whole bowl. She, I know what you're doing is take the whole bowl. Oh. It was a little embarrassing. Oh. Oh. It was it wasn't scary, but that's just a trick or treating memory that I have of Halloween. Of probably shouldn't have been doing that, but I did. 
I thought that was gonna have a different ending. Like she was gonna say, I know what you're doing. Bow chick bow wow. Yeah, That's what in. I was honestly in. hoping for when I was twelve. It didn't happen though. Come on. It in. didn't happen. Yeah. yeah. We were just some annoying kids. And now looking back, like I was ringing her doorbell at like eleven thirty. That was like really rude, dude. That, yeah, that's I would have been fucking jail. pissed off Deeper. if that was me. So, sorry. I'm Did sorry. she slowly start to realize it was it was you like over time? It was me and my friend, and we just kept taking pieces of our costumes and like switching them out so we could see her again. <laughs> so fucking lame. She full size. <laughs> does Jenny know about this girl? Uh-oh. I don't think she does. I never told her. I feel Uh-oh. like maybe. Maybe there was a soulmate connection there. Probably. I think she definitely felt it. You should go on Craigslist and post a misconnection. Yeah. I was annoying when I was 12. She's only six years older than you. That's not, that's not weird now. No. Just think about those first. Did she have, was she a babysitter? She'd only be. I don't know who she was. I have no idea who she was. I I didn't live in that neighborhood. I was just, you know, I just fell in love. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I've been there, bro. Babysitter cleavage got me when I was a, a young what? boy. How old? Like, probably seven. Didn't want to go to bed. I was like, I'll stay up late, entertain y'all. Dang. I know you think I'm funny. <laughs> I, I tell jokes. I'll, I'll be funny you for you. Don't make me go to bed. It was awesome. <laughs> did they love you? I th- I was hoping so. I don't think they did, though. You probably were seven? Not. They were teenagers. Ah. She's probably dead now. <laughs> what the fuck? Halloween. You don't think about that kind of stuff? No. Yeah. What was the question again, Bandito? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I went off the rails. I, I apologize. I don't know. Bandito, you got to you gotta speak up. <laughs> what? I'll let you guys go, but I got to say, Derek, you're looking killer tonight. Hell yeah. See, there you go. You didn't see my costume? Hey, yeah, Bandito, no commentary on the other costumes that we worked so hard on? <laughs> I got to say, 10 out of 10 across the boards, but if I had to pick a favorite, you yeah. know, Derek is just... It's just he's always on on uh, a whole nother level. Not God, to not to be rude. Always. Your glasses oh. are always a whole other game all in itself. But uh, uh, Derek, you're doing something amazing. I like it. Dogs over cats. I get it. Now watch me whip. Now watch me nay Oh, he's still doing. Man, I can't top that. I'm the dog, the big the dog, the bounty hunter. <laughs> is that a fake Ozzy Osbourne? No, voice? Ozzy Osbourne did that song. That's really Ozzy. That's really Ozzy Osbourne. Fuck! That's how cool Dog the Bounty Hunter is. Wait, wait, wait. You're wait. right. He is fucking cool. Wait. Oh, look at no. D- yeah. Ozzy Osbourne. I was just doing did that song. Did that song? Ozzy Osbourne sings the I theme thought song it was. Dog now, the now here's my my question. Yeah. Was that already a song, or did you do that song specifically for no, Dog? For Dog. The, the lyrics are all about Dog the Bounty Hunter. Yeah. Ozzy Osbourne, Ozzy and Sharon from Black Sabbath yeah. made that song for the Bounty Hunter. Just sure right. was 2002. He's his manager. What though. would it take for Ozzy Osbourne to do our new theme song? Ten thousand dollars. I ten thousand dollars is not an unattainable amount. No, he ain't for ever Ozzy Osbourne to do a song for us. That seems like it's worth it to me. No, it was. It's. Uh, it's gonna I, ten thousand dollars is not. An Dude, unattainable I mean physical labor. Rob Zombie Rob did Howard Stern's theme song. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ozzy also did, I think, or no, no, Motorhead did Triple H's theme song. And we, we could pr- probably and afford someone like Great White. I don't want to get them. We could probably get like Owl City. Yeah, Owl we get Owl City. City. What is Owl City doing or now? Plain they could White, definitely do us. Is Plain White Tees busy nowadays? No, they're not busy. Well, thank you for your call. I know we didn't answer your question, but thank you. I, you. I wanted to well, no, have a they great never night, said, guys. I wanted a reminder of what the question was. I, we, they never asked. It was something about something spooky that happened at Halloween to you. Well, and they should have said that. They did to me. Something spooky that happened at Halloween. To you talked about a hot chick. Yeah. <laughs> I told them that I derailed Maybe it. You guys know each other and you're on the same page, but he I was the friend I was with. Was. I didn't know what that oh, was. His name guys, is Matt. You were all horny for that. I get it. Okay, so the person who sent these boxes is in is calling in. Kevin. Kevin. His name is Kevin. Okay. Um, <laughs> Kevin doesn't trust Rocco's him. Rocco's getting director notes direct to him. Uh, I'm not yeah, seeing a Kevin. We'll find him. Here. We're gonna find Kevin. We're gonna Kevin. find. You. Oh, there he is. Okay. So yeah. all four boxes are primed. Kevin. Hello. Hello. For, for next week. <laughs> this is my Dude. first Discord call, so I just want to make sure I'm all. You oh, sound you good. sound good, dude. 
Okay, I've got I've got the external microphone. I think I don't have any feedback, so I'm glad I'm sounding good. Well, um, oh, go ahead. No, I was just, oh, you go ahead. I'm curious what you have to say about these insane huge boxes you sent <laughs> to us. There's quite a bevy in front uh, of us. Well, I I don't know uh, if you want any I don't know general information on it. I can provide that. But first and foremost, if you do want to open something, because the chat is calling for it. Okay. There is a box there that it's it's opened. Uh, it, it's the furthest one from you up there at the front that has gifts for everyone. Yep. Oh. There's some po there's some poster tubes in there with individualized gifts for people. You don't need to open those up at, right now unless you oh. want to. Oh. You, you oh. can. They're, so they'll have your names on it. Like Rocco has one. He can yeah. open that up if he wants. But the packages in that one have combined sort of group gifts that you could. Okay. Satisfy the chat with opening those, and then Dude, every single uh, box has packages. With Kevin, <laughs> you you came <laughs> through the clutch. Hey, Thank you. There you go. No problem. So yeah, you can open those, and then Instagram for all the individual ones. Okay. Well, uh, thank right. you for doing this. Is like looks like you put so much work into this that it's a little crazy. Uh, well, I might be a little crazy, but did you uh, it, have I ever said Shawnee Wani Doodle Day in the podcast? How did you know? In, in podcast, I don't. See, I'm going to sound crazy right now uh -huh. giving this answer, but I have, I kept a, a big notes file with, you know, detailing all the things I needed to keep all these things in order. Hmm. And one of the things that I had noted in there was some, I wanted to put kind of weird nicknames on everyone's packages that you would know who they're for, but maybe, you know. Yeah, well, you nailed like mine. That. I and saw mine, got the chills. Show, in after show 133. Um, you, Garrett, and Rocco all said some childhood nicknames that you have. Whoa. And so that's what I use for your pack. Did I say Gert? I... You said Gert. That was what your grandma called no, you, I no, think? No, no, no. A my neighbor kid or something? Neighbor kid's mom, yeah. Yeah, okay. That, yeah, something that, yeah, yeah. How funny. So you, that was Gert. Dude, yeah. you're, wow. you're on it, man. You got notes and, wow. You know more about me than I do. I think I'm we sure. found Royce's understudy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I am no, I am no Royce. I am indebted to Royce. His voice is pretty smooth. I will say pretty that he's got though. a silky smooth voice. <laughs> that's just that's like Royce. I said. Under, no that's one can replace Royce. That's all the mic. That's yeah. I said. Understudy. Well, yeah. I'm open mine up real quick. This is for the prop closet. <clears throat> for the prop closet, what do you got? We got. I thought that was a MAGA hat. Ooh, oh, it equals three <laughs> hat. That's a great costume. Even better, Pete. Way better. Oh. Thank you. Wow. This, I, we got the fish pillow. Oh. oh. We now know the meaning of the fish pillow. Yes, you like this the hoppo jobby situation. That is the fish pillow. Thank you. Thank that you. is the fish. It's not the exact fish pillow, but it's the same Wait, model. Yeah. These are like equal th equals three like glasses and wristbands. There was a listing on eBay for Ray William Johnson merch. I was gonna say, like, wow. it's not available anymore, right? It's a coffee mug. Oh, the, the, there's Twitter. there's a box. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Debate. Why <laughs> choose when you can have both? <laughs> Red vines or Twizzlers? Dude, this is cool. Uh, ooh, um. these are my favorite dog treats. <laughs> Dog loves those. Hold on. This was uh, this was something that was sent in for. It says here um, the studio wall in the mansion, but hopefully it'll find a new place, and I think it'll fit in perfect here in the oh, wow. the new setting. It's like a haunted mansion oh, placard. Oh yeah, that's cool. You want to get close up on me eating food mm. in a mask? Uh, yeah, pass that down to Rocco. He'd think that. Cool. For the studio oh, wall. Yeah, that's all. Oh, oh, it actually says Mega Mansion. Yeah, that's wow, that's really sick. cool. That is like it says Mega. Oh, I the didn't even notice no, that. That's a Mega Mansion. Personally engraved. Yeah, from afar, I just. That's thought. so oh. sick. That will go in here. Yeah, that's cool. And then a relic. this. I don't know. That so was this... my favorite uh, Ray Rowling Johnson merchandise, just oh because of the God. craftsmanship. It's a bobblehead. Oh my. It's perfectly formed. Oh my God. It looks <laughs> just like it. <laughs> it's a fucking RJW bobblehead. Oh my God. RJW. <laughs> What the Ray fuck? That's a... So I don't know if you want to display that on some sort of pedestal with maybe a lighting system. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll work that in. Yeah. That looks nothing like him. Get uh, exactly, yes. Yeah. That, this is, that is, hey. Can I have a dog treat? We've only scratched the surface of your gift packages to us, but you are nailing it. Dude, thank you so right. much. Your dog, no hook problem. your brother up. I mean, I can't you imagine probably... how much work went into this. Thank you.
Well, it was it was fun, and there is a longer letter in there in the box that says everyone. You all have letters that I've written to you, but okay. there's a letter for everyone that does explain a little bit more about why I, I went to these lengths to, to uh, send in everything. But the, well, just awesome. so everyone knows, and you don't think I'm some sort of crazy stalker that's sure. outside the studio right now. Uh, I'm not saying <laughs> if I am or am not, but I mean, the, the reason is that I've been, you know, I've been watching for... A while, doesn't matter how long, but many people have been watching for a long time, and you have been consistently putting out so much free, good content for the people who like it. It's not everyone's thing, but the people who do like it, like me, are usually kind of nut jobs about it, and we get a lot of enjoyment for it. So you've done so much and given me so much over the years, just without even knowing who I am, just sort of, you know, putting out podcasts, putting out videos, putting out, uh, any, any, you know, just personal channel videos, posts on Twitter, anything that you put out is just, I, I identify so much with it and have grown so much with it um, growing up. And I just wanted to thank you for it uh, by showing you that, you know, there are people out here who are affected by what you do and we really do appreciate it. Well, dude, thank hey, you so much. Your call's cutting out. What did you say? <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. What a dick. I said, you guys suck. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I heard that. Yeah, that what the hell? Well, oh man, Kevin! No. I read the letter and he basically said all of that verbatim. We, we yeah. suck. Yeah. Hey, Kevin! Thank you so much. Really, thank uh, you. This obviously was a lot of love put into this. So, thank you. We uh, check out our Instagram. We'll, we'll go will. through it all in detail and like yeah. everything is individually labeled for who it goes yeah, to. Yeah, so it will be a whole like huge segment. Thing. So, thank you, you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. Thank you. No, no problem. Uh, if you do want to open up. One more thing, you no. could open up those poster tubes. There's art for you in there. But yeah, if you we'll, want we'll to get them up there. We're, yeah, we're going to wait. We'll we're going to wait Instagram. for the Instagram. Perfect. See, we'll I'll do it. All, all right, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks Thank so you. much. Goodbye. Thank you. Good blue. so cool. It that, says the yeah. Mega Mansion on it. I can't wait. I'm like, uh, I'm super excited to see what is in the rest of these things. Because yeah. there is quite a lot of very kind of personal I mean, everything seems to be personalized to our interests. Yeah. But, like, I'm not going to be here for this Instagram thing. Well, we can wait. We can wait. We can I know, wait. but I'm dying. I'm going to sleep, tossing and turning, dreaming about maybe, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe there's a fucking Yobo. Jerk there. off. Sorry, I should have clarified. The caller. <laughs> I thought you just fucking cut me off with that. Wow. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I, I should have. Uh, hello. Hello. Hey, hi, sir. Did you present? fart again or what? Not yet. Oh, this is the fart. I'm pretty clean on that tonight, I think. Not yet. Gonna try to ease off the beans it's on tonight. The way. What's up? What's up? How's it going? Okay, so I'm doing pretty good. I have a question. How's it looking for you? How you been? Are you thinking about getting a second shelf? What? I have a shelf to the left. It's like yeah, that. Do you, but you think about getting a second one underneath it? Third shelf. Like that wall just no, looks... Like, I'm going to scoot this over. Let me see. <sighs> That's where the okay, magic the happens. There. Yeah, there's the one shelf sitting there. The, the one wall. That's what yeah. I wanted to see. Mattress what, with one What sheet. is on that shelf that he thought, like, I need to have a shelf just for what? this? Those are yeah, RDGs. Are those, just on that are those shelf? books? Is that, the, is that the Left Behind series? <laughs> is that chicken soup? <laughs> For the soul? Show diary of a wimpy kid? What is that? that shelf? I gotta know. I gotta know. Is that dork diary? I'm just lagging really bad, by the way. No. Let's ask my question. No. I, no, uh, no question. I, I got no what the fuck is on that shelf. What's on the shelf? <laughs> Is that like an inspirational poster on the wall up there? It's a bunch of manga. That's what it is. Oh, okay. manga? A manga yeah. shelf? Yeah, obviously it's, it's like sentimental to him. Just fart already. Is that your <laughs> best manga? Is that the best manga you got? Come on, just straight. Wanna, Get it out. This is This is the JoJo shelf right there. Oh, JoJo. Oh, oh that's the JoJo, JoJo shelf. Shelf. JoJo. <laughs> JoJo shelf. We got well, some, we can hang up now. We got we stuff got on it. our shelf too, Take, man. Thanks for your call. Hey, no, Take wait. You. I got a question. Oh, oh yeah. I'll answer you in a year. Does your mom know that that's the JoJo shelf? 
Or does she just think it's just like some random manga shelf? Does she know? Have you told her, like, Mom, this is the JoJo shelf? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think you should get her in here right it. now. He's hiding he it. You told us we're comfortable with it. I think, I you think get her in the room. I think you should make a sign. I think you should make a sign because you got a lot of wall space there. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. a sign pointing up that says JoJo Shelf. Dust Weekly. That way, when you call people on Discord, they know what it is. They have to ask you. We need to yeah. go through this nonsense. Can you call us back next week and show us the sign, the, the most badass yeah. sign you can make? You have a whole week to do it. You could draw your yeah. own stand, like. On the side. Like, take it to, like, Kinko's, get it laminated. Make something nice, you know? Yeah, the JoJo shelf. Anyway, what's your question? I was gonna... I was gonna say, what's the, like, album you've listened to the most probably over your life? The Just, album. Like, album. In my life. Like, repeat listens. Repeat listens. Ooh, Beatles could be up there for you, Rocco, I'm thinking, oh. but... Like, what's the album you put on your JoJo shelf? <laughs> yeah, yeah now that now that you worded yeah, that way, exactly. What, what is your JoJo shelf? My album? JoJo shelf album. Man, mm. I would put. I think for myself, it was like Pinkerton by Weezer. That's, that's a, big a good one. album. Yeah, that's, that's that, a good one. That, that got a lot of plays that on. That might my... be it for me too. Just I listen yeah. to a lot of I listened to a lot of the same albums over when I was in high school. Same here. And then like it's as time went on, night. I didn't. I wouldn't just repeat listen to albums so much. Um, I went to bed every night with a cassette tape. Side A was Deftones Around the Fur. Side B went was to bed with that? the first <laughs> Deftones album. And I think that technically, because that was like four years, 365 days, I listened to one side of the tape, one album, and then I'd flip it to the other side of the tape, the other album, yeah. every night when I went to bed. I'd fall asleep a couple songs in. Sure. Uh, but I think I probably listened to those two Deftones albums the most out of every album. I don't know. I might put Nirvana in utero up there. Mm, a utero yeah, awesome. would be the one. Uh, you know what I do as an adult? I've done this for years. I have the Beatles discography on an iPod. Oh yeah. In my car, and it's the only thing on that iPod. So whenever I like am just sick of the radio, I'll just put on that Beatles discography and listen to every Beatles song. Just sometimes I'll go through alphabetically. Sometimes I'll shuffle them. So I've listened to their discography many times. So I would say either Pinkerton by Weezer. Beatles discography or Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys. Uh, that's those are the albums I tend to just put on more often than not. I can listen to them endlessly. Yeah, and I have sing along with yeah. every word. Because I think I, I do the same thing. I kind of just repeat the same album, even if it's like like recently I'll be listening to a bunch of new albums. But even then, I'll still repeat the same album I just liked forever, pretty much. Yeah, I'll be listening um, to the same stuff for about two I, years. I think for me, it maybe in. The first uh, in a great portion of my life was it would have been like Pinkerton. Yeah. But then I hit a wall with Weezer where I never wanted to like hear him again. So, yeah. The first the two one album that this. survived every era of my music listening life is probably that Postal Service album. I love that yeah. album. Uh, give, give, yeah. Give up. Give it's up. Probably that has survived every era of music I've been into. I still listen to that. Uh, uh, I'm going to say maybe that. And I will say my go-to album as of the last like 10 years is uh, Black Sabbath, Sunday Bloody Sabbath. See, mine... I'll throw that on if like I'm in mixed company. Even if you don't like Black Sabbath, I feel like if I put that on and it's background music, people like it. So My album, album would probably be Black Sabbath by Black Sabbath. I listened to that album so many times times and it's, it's a good one my dad would put it on when i was a kid as like the music to clean the house and i kind of do the same and i have heard that thousands of times did i not say the name right. of the album right no you, you said give up i think i misspoke about my black sabbath album oh you did so oh. positive sunday bloody sabbath Is that so you it? said it was bigger <laughs> i think there's an album named that no, it's either Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, or, or Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. Yeah, it's their fifth one. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's their fifth one. Yeah, I just he's not reading it. He's listening to it. You think you could talk so much shit in the chat? I'm gonna be convinced I never heard the fucking album. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I meant. My go-to is that Randy Rhodes live tribute album for oh. for uh, Ozzy. While we're on the Ozzy subject, this podcast. I cannot believe he did this song, the theme song for Dog. I can't believe it's that. It's fucking nuts. I don't. I have a theory that his Sirius XM radio channel, he doesn't do this, the voice IDs. I feel like it's an impersonator. Probably. Brian thinks I'm crazy. He's like, that's him. I'm like, it sounds too good to be him. He's all old and, and 
shitty now. He's all fucked up. <laughs> He's dunking his heads in buckets as not yeah, pass out on stage. Generated. It's just an impersonator they hired. Gotta be cheaper to just get some local guy who can do an Aussie impersonation. Right. Oh, it's probably like 50 guys down at the metal station that do it. Just <laughs> knock on the third floor door. Hey, liquid metal. Anybody. Is Jose in here? <laughs> Come Aussie on Aussie one's real easy to impersonate. I've heard people metal. who sound just like him. Oh, yeah. You gotta have a little shake in you. Uh, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy, what's his name? Well, Jimmy you could talk Jimmy? like him, but you, you could also sing like him. Oh, sing like him, yeah. yeah. I listen. No, no Derek, you, Derek meant talk like him. They have uh, a new, they released an album, Black Sabbath did, of their last show ever, which is interesting, but it is, he talks a lot oh, during the songs, and it's like, yo, Ozzy, this is the last time you're ever doing this, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> he kept saying, God bless you all. There, okay, please stop there, saying God bless you all. The zombies show before the. I remember What's that? one show he was talking about a zombies show he went to. Oh yeah. They kept talking about like yeah, Dave all Roll these old bands. You get to a certain age and you think people give a shit about your life. Just play the songs. I don't want to hear <laughs> your life story. I don't give a shit. I 100 percent agree with you, Derek. Except I was just when I saw that. Paul McCartney, I thought I would go to a show of you, you talking and listen to that happily. Yeah, yeah, that's the one show I've been to where his stories. I was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me more. But uh, everyone else, the difference? shut yeah, I mean, up. No, I'll tell you what the difference is. Paul McCartney doesn't talk to the point where you literally want to tell him to shut up. No, no, he doesn't. He, All I these mean, other... Paul McCartney, would be like, you know, this next song I wrote for a person you might know, a man named Michael Jackson. Then he plays the song. You're like, wow, you wrote this <laughs> yeah. for Michael Jackson? Wow, that's cool. The yeah. zombies tell you that story. Mm, then it was the spring of 1980. Got a phone call. Yeah. I remember I just bought a sofa and I was looking at it thinking, is this sofa too big? Yeah. But then the phone was ringing. I'm sitting there being like, shut the fuck up, play the fucking song. Yeah. So they just talk too much. Yeah. <clears throat> you get old, you get, you turn into a windbag. Just play your music. Let's talk more rock. Yeah. God bless you yes, all. So I like the way hardcore bands used to do it. It'd be real short and sweet and super positive. We're like, this next song's about brotherhood. I look around in this room. I see a lot of brothers and sisters that are here today, and I'm glad to see you. This song's called Bloody Roots. Here we go. And then it would start. And that's I, what Can I, I'm going to go. <laughs> I love that story, Garrett. Yeah. For a lot of reasons, but I love that you were holding a microphone in one hand and having a big <laughs> I didn't want to yell. I knew I was going to yell. Did. You didn't use that. I, I just looked over and it was the funniest imagery of you holding the mic away from your face <laughs> to get the fig mic in there. I knew I didn't want to blow the mic out, so I had to, I had to move it away from me. I get you, the logic. The hardcore vocals, you got to grip that little mic like Earth Crisis and you got to, you know. Yeah, but how often do you tell a story with the actual mic True. in your other hand? Brilliant. So, I think we should stop talking about that stuff. Okay. Oh, no. And okay. get into, <laughs> get okay. into just... A, a moral debate on what we should open next. No. Stop. I think you what? shouldn't have brought it up again. Why did you do that? We were doing no, so dude, well. The chat moved on. Rocco, no. your self-sabotaging personality has gone too far. I was joking. He said he was, he said he was perfect, but <laughs> I'm joking. starting to think he's not. I say joking. we read this very deep and personal letter no, that Kevin said. I say we read all four of them, Kev. Rocco, you started this night off by saying you were really fucking busy and couldn't do it. Yeah, I had to leave like an hour. Why are you? We we had it. We we can't do it. Clutching a fish pillow like there's no end in sight. Yeah, Yeah, jerk off won't get to his question. Come on. I already got my question. I thought you were being mean to him again. I forgot that that's his name. I was just joking around. I know. I know. What's your favorite? uh, What's your favorite issue of the JoJo manga series? Issue or volume? Ooh, you know, oh, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, you fucking Derek, got you. You fucking got gonna, you. I live in Idiot. America where we have comic. issues. Okay. Dunce. <laughs> What's your favorite volume of JoJo, jerk off? It would be like the, I think it's like volume 37 or something like that. Oh, uh, like I fell off. Team fight. <laughs> to be fair, if you he come out of the Mega 64 like baby stand, and you ask for season two DVD, we laugh in your face. Uh, you do that? Yeah, I go. It's a virgin, you noob. What are you? A virgin? A plebe? Yeah. What? It's a it's virgin. A, you call yourself a virgin? Virgin. Because I know never. Things. I didn't get to volume thirty-seven. Jerk off. Understandable. Your name. I stopped at volume. Yeah, one. your name makes me. Have I, you I feel farted fun. yet? <laughs> Not yet. 
Well, when, when are we going to get said, the jerk said, off part? I on that. You know, thanks to Kevin for the first time, I get to eat Red Vines and Twizzlers oh, in the shit. same bite. I've never done that. Two wrongs don't make a right, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just, it's, this is not licorice. Either okay, one. Jerk off, thanks for your call. I feel bad right, saying that, you. but that you, that's your username. He put it out there. I, I love feel, you, Jerkoff. It makes me feel mean, but thank you. All right, save. I like this new regular relationship we have with Jerkoff. Hey, <laughs> I want to, I want to apologize real quick. Okay. I just want to give an apology because I feel like I've been keeping something from the audience a little bit. Um, can you get to the, can we do a close up? Yeah. Okay. I just feel like this has been concealed for a long time and I feel really bad about it. Um, but just get my socks you can't tell, but what they're the volcanoes. Fuck? They have volcanoes on them. Rocco feels upset promoting our store <laughs> and our new fucking videos, but has no problem promoting his feet. Yeah, well, Show feet. But Show look, feet. But guess what? Look, <laughs> guess what? It's back in the shoe. We're done. It, see, it's that. Con it, you have to, it's concise. Uh, Show feet. This is Rocco, open you got a bobs. Fetish? Rocco, you know you? that's nobody's business. Rocco, do you like feet? I'll be honest. I'll be the first to tell you. I fucking hate feet. Yeah. Yeah, Derek. Don't show me your feet. Hey. Have you ever seen a porno yeah. real talk? Yeah, where, me too. <laughs> no. Where it starts out like maybe, you know, normal sex. And then all of a sudden, the hand job turns into a foot job. Have you ever seen that kind what? of video? Yeah, I have. Do you switch off or do you keep going? We like, well, let's see where this goes. I give them about Wait. 45 to 60 seconds There's to get that shit yeah. out of their system. If it progresses beyond that, then I start thinking... Yo, is this like a foot video? Yeah, if it if it's like thirty seconds or more, uh, next video. What? Why is did it, we suddenly transit? I know you're all oiled up in this fucking baby oil on the set, and yeah. it makes sense to put your the arch Basically, of your feet come just, together really I tight. I stopped right the there, pistons. But. I put it on hiatus. Yeah, I pull back and I I kind of like save I save yeah. it and I last a little longer because you got to load another video. I give them the benefit of the doubt. Open another Insta uh, or another uh, incognito but if they tab. Betray me. And stick with that foot shit. Get out reset, of here. Reset. Reset era. I'm the, out. What are you going to jizz on toenails? Get out. The reset era. You go to the message board. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, when, when Garrett brought that concept up, I was really taken aback how little Derek reacted to it. So is this a yeah. common thing? Yeah. Foot jobs. Rocco, what kind of pornos do you watch? None. I don't. Foot I, jobs. Not there's one this, with a foot in it. There's this trend where I don't know where they buy this shit in bulk, but baby oil and it's fucking everywhere Amazon. Amazon. I, guarantee it's I think Amazon. about the rentals that they're filming these in and i'm like they're ruining the carpet that couch is fucking wrecked wait, but wait. there's baby oil everywhere yeah, they probably bring baby their oil own couch. but it what looks, is it, it looks, you say a foot what do they do they're going like that like, yeah, yeah is it like the yeah, foot buddy. kamehameha at the end of dragon ball like he what hey, is Rocco. it it's pov so there's he's sitting a, like there's this there's a bullhorn right there Go ahead and put your feet on it, and I'll tell you yeah. how close you, you are to what they do. Up and down. Get that horn. Get get the arch. I'll tell you if it's what you think it is, or put if you're way off toes. base. Show this, this bull horn. skull horn on By the, the middle of the altar right here. Thing. You have to pull the chair up. We have a stool if you need <laughs> it. <laughs> the bull the horn. Oh, the barrel. It's on a barrel. <laughs> He's looking for oh, a PA. An actual bull horn. I thought you were talking about like the yeah PA. Oh no. You need to. You need your arches. Oh, it was. You could have yeah. moved up to it, but. No, that's good. Now you. It's gonna be a lot harder to hold. Go ahead, Rocco. Set it on the ground in front of you. Like this? Yeah. Like this? Oh, yeah. Go like that? No, no, yeah. no. Well, Set it on the yeah. ground. Yeah, you got shoes on are. The okay. They don't hold the penis and point it away from the them. The penis is pointing up oh, at their feet. Uh, here, I'll hold it. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll Sean, hold it. Sean, you need to go hold it. Hold on. Sean's gonna hold it. Other horn. Hold. Oh, you're getting close, actually. Okay, go ahead. Okay, yeah. Yeah. They go like this? Yeah, up and down. Yeah. 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 Arch, yeah. yeah. Dude, arch. Dude, you do that? that's your, you just gave your first foot job. Why that's awesome, use, Rocco. Oh, hand? congratulations, bro. Some guys like feet. You just simulated with Sean your what? first footy. Your why first you FJ. A, why don't you use a hand? Get over their foot thing. This turned into a that's great sick. after show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I disagree. I don't like what I've discovered. I say put the baby oil away. Quit messing around with your fucking stepsisters. Yeah, what? What? Can I get Bush back again? I thought... Cheney? I don't like Come on, we miss you guys. I don't like what I was just tricked into doing, quite frankly. I really don't think it's that funny. Well, <laughs> we'll see you next week, everybody. Good night. Good night. Oh, were we ending it? Oh, fuck. I think we just did.